Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum and a very pleasant morning everyone. Today I'm very honored to be standing here to tell you an inspiring speech entitled The Pursuit of Happiness. I'll be sharing with you a story about my elder brother, which to me is very inspiring and very motivating. My brother is 21 years old and currently he is completing his degree in chemical engineering in Vanderbilt University. His name is Muhammad Shazwan Bimu Amin. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother used to be the head boy of Sekolah Tongku Abdul Rahman. During that year, the teachers as well as the students they called the year as the year of enjoyment because he managed to decrease the disciplinary problems among the students in that school. And in that year, the teachers came to the school, was happy to teach. The students, they are happy to come to the school to learn from the teachers. Why? because my brother managed to change the school through happiness. Even I myself, as his younger brother, who has lived with him 17 years old, 17 years, we have do a lot of things together, we have done a lot of things together, we have eat together, we have played together, we have been scolded together. Never once have I seen him get depressed over something. It was to, uh, I've seen my brother get angry twice, but uh, the rest of the year he was always happy and smiling all the time. And I began to question how he was able to be happy all the time and he was always smiling. And one of the reason is because he is an optimist. Being an optimist is very important nowadays. We know when we live in this globalization era, sometimes we may face 10 or 11 problems at a time. So the way we tackle the, the problems is very important. And my brother has shown to me how by being happy, by smiling, although he may, although he's facing a problem in his life, he could actually solve the problems <coughs> and he was able to stay happy. There was once my brother was accused of smoking in the school ground. If I were his, if I was if I were in his shoe, I would definitely get depressed. And I would try to persuade my parents to take me out of the school, to change school. But my brother, he faced the problem differently. Although he was accused by one of his best friends, he never once stopped smiling. There was always a smile on his face. And when the real culprit was caught, one of the good things my brother, the outcome of his, the outcome of this case is, the, the outcome of this case was, he was able to keep on being friend with his friends. And he had a very good relationship with the teachers as well as his friend due to the way how he tackled the problem when he was accused of smoking in the school smoking in school ground and that was why i say it's very important to look at things positively my brother once said in life we can't avoid from from having problems just imagine you're riding a roller coaster. If the ride, if the roller coaster only goes straight, definitely you feel bored riding the roller coaster. 
But if we write the roller coaster, if we write a roller coaster which which swirl and twist, definitely the mix of fear, excitement would make our life a colorful bean of jazz. It, it will make it will bring more meaning to it will, be, it will bring more meaning to our life. And that is why I say one of the way for you to pursue happiness is by being an optimist. Secondly, never stop dreaming. <coughs> because my brother once said, if you continue to dream, you'll be able to generate creativity through your thinking. You'll be able to learn and get exposed to new things. And when you are able to understand, to get exposed to new things, to generate new ideas, definitely your life will be more meaningful. And my brother is very talkative and he used, and he, he's always sharing all his ideas on what he wanted to become when he uh, wanted, what he wanted to become, what he wanted to do, although sometimes it may seem ridiculous, but we enjoy listening to him. And we sometimes get inspired by what he said. And that is why I believe by never stopping to dream, you'll be able to pursue happiness in life. And last but not least, be yourself. Do not pretend to be someone else. When you, wherever, wherever you go, whatever position you might hold, when you grow older, be yourself. Make sure if you're someone who is always smiling, who is always making, who is always cracking jokes, doesn't mean when you become a boss in an organization in an organization, you have to turn into someone serious. No. By being yourself, you'll be able to have a more <coughs> sincere relationship with your peers, with the people around you. And when, and when there's a sincerity in a relationship, believe uh, it, it will definitely last till death. Before I conclude my speech, I would like you to think of the people nowadays. You can see how they have turned into something unhuman. They have, that's the, the important trait as a human being, bit by bit, are disappearing from the people out there. You can see how the depressed people outnumbered people who are still smiling. Why? Because they have lost happiness in their life. Therefore, if you don't want to become like those depressed people out there, follow my lead. Be yourself. Never stop dreaming and be an optimist. For sure, you're always smiling and people will smile back to you. Thank you.